Hey everybody, it's me, Roger Aladdin Daltrey, and, and I'm here now to do a one year anniversary tribute video for Peter Salas because one year today he passed away. And don't forget to check out the original, the or original uh, <laughs> tribute video so you can check that one out. And, and, and it actually did get a lot of views, which was pretty unusual. And obviously, Peter Salas played the character Norman Clegg in the longest running sitcom Last of a Summer Wine which I think could be my favourite sitcom of all time along with Father Ted and uh, then of course he also did the voice of Wallace in Wallace and Gromit and because again Wallace is the man on the drums because Wallace is obviously my favourite drummer of all time so, and it's just, and to me, Peter Salas was a legend, so he was. I thought he was the, one of the funniest actors I ever knew. And uh, when, whenever he was around, he always had b b brought a Bozak and just put everybody in a great mood. Because that's just the type of person he was. And uh, I have so many memories of him whenever I'm watching Wallace and Gromit or Last of Summer Wine. And always, he would put a smile on my face. And I think it's just, and to me, it's just crazy to think that it has been a year already. Because to me, I think, uh, as I said before, he's definitely one of the funniest actors I ever knew. And I don't think anybody's ever going to take that away from him. He, uh, I remember there was one funny moment in Last of Summer Wine where he played Norman Clegg. And basically, he said, I'll do my accent. He, he was like, here we go then. And then he basically reversed the car backwards and then went into the uh, pond and then he looks at Compo and goes, well you said reverse. And he just thought it was brilliant and he'd just be so funny, like he just make it so funny no matter what he said. And he's he's always going to be that funny actor that everyone's going to remember, like, like the way uh, he always did his enthusiastic voice of Wallace as well. And... I just think he was absolutely so funny and as I said before, it's been a year since we lost him and some people think that it doesn't feel like a year at all. I also would like to share some of my happy moments of knowing Peter Salas for doing his uh, acting. Firstly, I'd like to talk about Peter Salas as an actor. Peter Salas was one of the best actors of all time and of all... And w whenever I'm watching Wallace and Gromit, or if I'm watching uh, Last of Summer Wine, he just put it in there 100% in every game, in every episode. And over those times, I had never seen Peter Salas do anything bad in his roles. Because when he's doing those actings, he's definitely in the top five actors for doing that. He gave it 100% at every uh, performance he did. And even though time flew by for a year, one sec. I think we should just focus on all the happy moments that we had with Peter Salas in our past. And I hope he's still eating cheese up there. I hope Wallace is still eating cheese up there. And anyway, so that's what I did. And then, of course, as I said before, lead vocalist Aladdin, a.k.a. The Man, lead guitarist Homer, a.k.a. The Man on Guitar, and bass player Shrek, a.k.a. The Man on Bass, I originally thought that they would split up, but now all of a sudden they did they, they did carry on and now all of a sudden Mario is the touring drummer and then SpongeBob is their touring keyboard player. And that's why lately I've been making a list of my favourite bands and I used cartoon characters for them as well. So what I thought I'd do is I would add this in as well. So this is the list I have right here. So these are the following bands that I've created for bands to have about cartoon bands that I've made. So the first one is obviously that band be right behind me, whatever the heck their name is. But these are the other bands that I have created. <clears throat> so Kiss, Booker T and the MGs, Led Zeppelin, Cheap Trick, The Faces, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Status Quo, The Rolling Stones, The Birds, The Traveling Wilburys, The Temptations, The Monkeys, The Spice Girls, 
Now this does include girl groups as well, and because I fancied Emma Bonson when I was younger, I thought I would uh, throw it in as well. But obviously nowadays I fancy Linda Larkin, who voiced Jasmine from Aladdin, because again, Aladdin is the man, and also Jasmine is the woman. So it's like, if Aladdin is God, then Jasmine is Goddess. Anyway, so, Mike and the Mechanics, The Supremes, Cream, ZZ Top, The Small Faces, Pink Floyd, Genesis, Yes, Electric Light Orchestra, Fleetwood Mac, Barkley James Harvest, who I'm kind of now starting to lose interest in because I'm, I'm a bit sick of them. Eb, 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 but, they're, eb, but they're still good though, uh, don't get me wrong, it's just I'm a bit sick and fed up of listening to them. Anyway, Dire Straits, Nirvana, Oasis, The Band, Blondie, Rush, The Beatles, ABBA, even though I've said it before that Agneta is the gammiest woman in the world, whereas Jasmine is the best looking, is the best looking woman in the world. Like, there's no competition between Jasmine or Agneta, because Jasmine is obviously the answer for the best looking. Anyway, T-Rex, R.E.M., the Eagles, Buffalo Springfield, Joy Division, New Order, Slime the Family Stone, The Velvet Underground, Grand Funk Railroad, Journey, Emerson Lake and Palmer, At the Doors, Humble Pie, The Police, Roxy Music, Blue Oyster Cult, The Smiths, The Grateful Dead, The Cars, Aerosmith, Foreigner, Bon Jovi, Pearl Jam, The Kinks, The Clash, Queen, U2, The Pussycat Dolls, Leonard Skinnerd, Atomic Kitten, Girls Aloud, Deep Purple, The Ramones, The Jam, Tin Machine, Radiohead, Black Sabbath, Simon and Garfunkel, Black and Blue, which features current Kiss guitar player Tommy Fair, Talking Heads, In Excess, The Bee Gees, who I'm also a little bit sick and fell up of listening to them as well. But they're still good though. The Animals. The Beach Boys. The Miracles. Jethro Tull. The Four Tops. The Mamas and Papas. Green Day. Bad Finger. Aslan. The Foo Fighters. Little Mix. Mott the Hoople. Van Halen. The Undertones. Free. Bad Company. Guns N' Roses, Echo and the Bunny Men, The Stooges, and Sparks. And then probably the, 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 the Eurythmics. Those are currently the bands that I've created for cartoon bands. And basically, Aladdin, Homer, Shrek, and Wallace have, of course, uh, the first three bands. And then Aladdin has uh, Genesis with Jasmine, Genie, Iago, and Abu. And then he's got Tin Machine with uh, Rodney of Robots, Hiccup of How to Train a Dragon, and quite possibly Ooh from Home. And there and there are a few other ones as well. Maybe, maybe what I might do is in the future, I might probably review each of these bands that I've done, and I can tell you which cartoon character is each. I think I might be doing that series very soon, but there might be, you know, more unboxing videos and... Uh, like, I think I might do the Paul Simon unboxing video soon. And I'm also planning to do the, uh, that Nazi Hillbury's tune, Working on the Railroad, which features the legendary Mark Knopfler in the group. Soon. I think I, I think I might do it maybe sometime this week. I'm not so sure. I'll let you know. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'll probably do. And that's what I've been doing lately now, uh, since the death of Peter Salas. I also kind of, I do wish that, like, it was really good that Peter Salas lived for as long as he could. Up to the age of 96. And as I, and when I did the Leo Serbach set back in February, when I was talking about, uh, the track I Need You from the cartoons, which, which incidentally, when Waltz was a member of, when I was talking about the track I Need You from the A Quick One record, I basically was telling you that Peter Salas would have had his 97th birthday. But one year on now from Peter Salas' death, it's best now if you just look back on the happy memories of him instead of instead of grieving now because obviously that time's over now. You should just think of all the great times he gave you. And my uncle, who goes to Italy a lot, 
he had the absolute pleasure of meeting Peter Salas in person. And, which is pretty cool. And I made a mistake that Plague did, wasn't the guy who said, Honey is bee spit. It was actually Compo. And basically everyone in my family loved Compo as well. As a... As did I. Because Compo was brilliant. My favourite last of Summer Wine episode is probably Dry Dates and Cod Fanglers. Because they were in Ivy's cafe and there was a moment where Compo was like, I backed it last week. Horse called Quango. Odds on favour. 2.30. Then Clegg was like, Did he win? And then, No. Uh, uh, but it only won at 3 o'clock. And then I also liked the follow-up episode, which, at which Compo had said, Who does she remind you of? And then, From the back. And then, Plague was like, I don't think I know anyone from the back. And then, Randolph Scott. Seymour reminds you of Randolph Scott? Only from the back. I mean, like, it was a very funny moment. And, Peter Salas was just an incredible god he was. He was an amazing actor as well, and even Compo was good as well. And I liked the moment last summer wine where, Foggy, Clegg and Compo had their bikes joined together and after Foggy said Ready! Steady! Go! They all flew four off the bikes which was probably one of the most funniest moments ever. But yeah, so I wanted to come on just to do a quick uh, one year anniversary tribute for Peter Salas. I just can't believe it's been a year already. The, le the memories are always within me and I got to know you in 2005 with The Curse of the Were-Rabbit of Wallace and Gromit and I'll never forget the time I went to see that on the big screen. But anyway, rest in peace Peter Salas. Can't believe it's been a year now since you've left us. Thank you and thank you very much to everyone who's been watching this. And soon I will give you all these bands that I've mentioned and then I can tell you which characters they are. And then maybe what I might do is I might give you a rating out of 10 for each of these bands as well. So I could probably do a rate the artist kind of video. Anyway, thank you very much guys. Take care and bye bye.